Hey guys, this is Saman here from DIY King. Well, without any doubts, a cordless drill is definitely one of the most useful and convenient tool in any workshop. But even the Chinese ones might come up with a hefty price tag. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build one for yourself by using some of the commonly available material. So have a look at how useful and handy this little cordless drill is. Now to power this drill machine I'm going to use a Speed 775 DC motor. This is a 12 volt DC motor and it is available from any electric hardware store. The enclosure for this drill machine is made out of 2 inch UPVC fitting. I'm using an elbow over here along with one fit length of 2 inch pipe as well as some 3mm plywood sheets. Now we are going to mount this motor onto that elbow by using 3 cut screws, two of which are going to be placed at the top of this cavity while the one is going to be placed at the bottom of this motor which will help to stop the motor from moving here and there. As we have very limited clearance within the cooling fan that is rotating inside the motor and the motor can, so we are going to use some shorter length cut screws in order to hold the motor onto this elbow. Now I am going to drill multiple holes onto the motor mount which will help me to place handle while working in different orientation. While the handle for this drill machine is made out of a half inch PVC pipe and a wooden pack. Now to switch on and off the drill machine we are going to use this switch. It is usually used in electric drills and uh, the best part about this switch is that it not only switches on and off the drill but it also provides us the variable resistance that will act as a potentiometer for our pulse width modulating circuit that we are going to use later. Now first of all we are going to mount this switch onto the handle. To keep the switch in place we are going to use some hot glue.
to power this drill machine i'm going to use six lithium polymer cells each one of them is rated at 3.7 volt having a capacity of 2000 mah the battery pack is made such that it has three packs in series while each pack has uh, two cells in parallel in order to have a capacity of nearly 4000 mAh at 12 volt. The enclosure for the battery pack is made out of 3mm plywood sheet. I'll link the description for the dimensions of these parts on my instructables. Now I'm going to dismantle all the body parts before painting and uh, also applying the masking tape where needed. To control the speed of the drill machine, I am going to build a pulse with modulating speed controller and to do so I am going to order my PCBs from jlcpcb.com. Have a look at their website as uh, it is really user friendly and you can get instant quotes. All you need to get an instant quote is to upload your Gerber files and once these Gerber files are uploaded, you can uh, review them by the built in Gerber viewer. And later you need to check up the options just given below such as PCB thickness and the stuff like that. And for the first order you are going to get as low as $2 for 10 PCBs with free shipment at your tourist app. So be sure to check out their website for some great quality PCBs at an outstanding price. The heart of this circuit is a triple 5 timer IC that switches on and off a MOSFET really fast in order to control the speed of the motor. In one of my previous video, I have built the same circuit by using a transistor which really heats up a lot. So in order to handle much larger amounts of current, I decided to use a MOSFET. For more information about this PWM speed controller circuit, the Gerber files and the schematic, don't forget to visit my instructables on that project.
imagination began to begin with a new art form. So guys, if you like this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Moreover, it takes a lot of work to document these projects as well. So if you want me to continue producing such videos, then don't forget to share it with your friends and family members because it will work as a support for me. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you soon in the next one.